In today's talk, Sean O'Malley is seen doing karate shit, Luke Rockhold vs. Paulo Costa moved to UFC 278, Vittori fires back at McGregor over comments about Benil Darius, Cormier on who should Conor McGregor fight in his return to UFC, and Yen Jacek discusses her mindset ahead of Wiley Zhang rematch. Let's roll. Luke Rockhold and Paulo Costa will no longer be fighting at UFC 277 on July 30th. According to MMA reporter The Schmo, Rockhold vs. Costa have been moved to August 20th, which is UFC 278. The event is expected to take place in Salt Lake City, Utah. The news also comes just hours after Rockhold did an interview with Submission Radio, who ripped the Brazilian for trying to delay their fight. He said, He's trying to delay the fight again to August 20th. This guy is something's going on behind the scenes. I don't know what you're doing over there, Caitlin. The contract was signed and now he's trying to move it again, making room for all these detailed things that he's working on. Maybe a new booty? This is the last straw. I mean, the UFC wants it. I want to fight. I love it. I love the fight, but I ain't gonna wait any longer and I'll be ready if something else happens otherwise to somebody else too. So, I'm in training, I'm working, nothing's changed, and I'm just getting better. I'm just getting f***ing better every day. Rockhold hasn't fought since UFC 239 in July of 2019, as he moved up to light heavyweight and suffered a KO loss to Jan Blachowicz. Prior to that, he suffered a KO loss to Yoel Romero for the interim middleweight title. His last win was over David Branch by TKO in 2017. Charles Oliveira has been granted a title opportunity for his next bout and would like that to come against Conor McGregor. In a recent interview on the Fighter vs. The Writer podcast, Benil Darius took shots at Oliveira for chasing Conor McGregor fight instead of fighting lightweight contenders. McGregor has now responded to Darius's comments on Twitter. He tweeted, Benil Dardouche is the biggest nobody in the company. Darius's teammate, Marvin Vittori, wasn't happy with these comments from McGregor and fired back at him by tweeting, What a bitch at the notorious MMA. You couldn't last two men with Benil and that's just a fact. You're a scumbag. I hope to see you soon. Kelvin Gastelum and Ali Abdelaziz also joined the conversation. Gastelum tweeted facts in response to Vittori's comments. Abdelaziz also fired back at McGregor by tweeting, Anyone talk negative about Benil Darius have issues. Conor McGregor is currently rehabbing his broken leg, but it is likely he will return to the octagon in the next few months. It's still uncertain who he will fight, but he has options at both lightweight and welterweight. Speaking on ESPN's YouTube channel, Daniel Cormier discussed who the Irishman should fight in his return to the octagon and explained why he believes a Michael Chandler matchup is the fight that makes the most amount of sense. Here's the clip. What's up, guys? As you know, Conor McGregor is the biggest star in mixed martial arts. And now, as we start to near a time frame where he comes back, the question starts to be brought up, who should Conor McGregor fight next? Well, I've got two names. I know who he should fight, and I know who he probably will fight. Who he should fight is Nate Diaz. They should complete this trilogy. It's, it's a massive fight. Both guys are not necessarily in the title picture right now. It's a fun fight. We've seen it twice, and both of them have delivered. I think it's evenly matched. So I think he should fight Nate Diaz, who I believe he will fight 
is Michael Chandler. Because Michael Chandler has taken the UFC by storm. This guy only had four fights. He has now had the greatest front kick knockout of all time. He has knocked out, uh, he has knocked out uh, Dan Hooker, fought for the championship, fought in a fight of the year fight against Justin Gaethje. So his resume is strong. His profile is strong. And every single time he wins a fight, he jumps on that microphone and he makes a statement. And in his last fight, he made a statement that he's ready to fight Conor McGregor. I think this fight works. I think Chandler is going to engage him on the terms under which McGregor wants to fight. And Chandler is willing to go and fight him at 170. So I think he should fight Nate Diaz. I think that he will fight Michael Chandler. But regardless of who it is, when Conor McGregor fights, people tune in. And I will be one of those people that will be tuning in to watch whoever he fights in his UFC return. Joanna Jacek hasn't entered the octagon since March of 2020 when she suffered a split decision loss to Wiley Zhang. Recently, Zhang and Jacek have verbally agreed to a rematch, which is scheduled to take place June 11th at UFC 275 in Singapore. Speaking to Misha Tate and Renee Paquette on SiriusXM Fight Nation 156, Jacek discussed her mentality ahead of the rematch and explained why losing the belt in 2017 to Rose Namajunas was a relief. Here's the clip. When people are like, oh, you should get an easy fight, shake the dust. I'm like, for what? I, I know what's my, uh, what my dream is, being the champ, so there is no shortcut. I need to get these big fights, <laughs> only big money. And like, people, you don't know what you're talking about. The hard work is so many before. Easy fight doesn't mean easy camp. You know, you still have to work your ass so hard. But the thing is that, I used to say that there was no pressure when I was the champ. I said, no, no pressure, no pressure on me. There was tons of pressure. I, I wanted to make everyone happy, you know, my family, my fans, my management, UFC, Dana, I love all of them, but I forgot about myself. I want my life again, you know, losing the bet. I want my life again, you know, and, and that's the thing, that's the beauty. And now, there's no pressure. I was out for two years because I decided to be out for two years. People are like, no, she retired. She's an old fellow B. I'm not. I'm in the best shape ever in in 34. I'm turning 35 in, in three months. So Hell I'm yeah. great, you know. The weight cut is easy. Everything's just easier. I'm more smart and I just can't wait to rock and roll. I don't know what's going to happen in this fight, but you know what? I won the last fight <laughs> and that's the big and I'm I will step into the octagon like with this like uh, uh, with this confidence that hey I won last fight you know maybe it was close okay she got the decision but I'm better here are the top three memes you guys posted on mmamemes.com in third place is a meme posted by user Tommy Boy second place goes to sweet baby gang for life and the number one voted meme was posted by a user named PC Memes. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.